Hey guys, this is Andrew with uh, Gadget Experts, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Antillion um, Mod Mic. And it's this handy little device that kind of lets you turn any headset, or sorry, any uh, pair of headphones into a usable headset. So this is the packaging, you can pick it up at modmic.com. Um, I've heard it been aptly described as, um, as a tampon box before. I don't know if I would say anything quite that harsh, but I mean... It is definitely a unique package, it's very utilitarian, uh, nothing all too special with that. And today what we're going to be trying to do is, for comparison purposes, I'm going to try and attach this mod mic to my uh, Turtle Beach P11 headset here, which is actually a pretty good headset. And I like it because it's got a really good mic, um, so it'll give us a good sound comparison and a good uh, ergonomics comparison as well. Um, for fit and comfort and things of that nature. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. Right. So here we so go. So here we've got the total contents of the package. Um, I set this up so that way you could see the uh, scale. Kind of here's the headset or, or the microphone boom on the built-in uh, P11 headset. And here's the microphone that came with the mod mic. Um, it's definitely smaller. It looks a little bit more fragile. Um, but, you know, I mean, we'll see how things go. And it also came with this alcohol swab. That's about it. Um, the way that this works, at least according to the instructions that came on the side of their wonderful packaging here, is the way this works is basically I'm going to clean my spot on my headphones right here with an alcohol swab. And then we're going to go ahead and attach this uh, microphone right here. It has a little magnetic connector on it. So we're going to be taking this and we're going to attach this on and then our microphone should magnetically then hook onto our headset once we get this firmly good and attached. Alright so I've gone ahead and I've cleaned off my headphones here and I've attached this little piece right here which is going to allow us to hook up our uh, mod mic which is right here. Now one thing that I do want to kind of note about this mod mic uh, before we go any further is that one um, it kind of needs a pretty large and flat surface to actually attach the nodule to. Um, it's not something that you're going to get on some real small headphones that aren't flat. And you can see even here, I really don't have it attached probably as well as it should be because my headphones just aren't quite flat enough. Um, you know, these headphones are pretty round, you know, designed as it is, as are a lot of full ear coverage headphones. I just don't know many headphones out there that have a completely flat design to them so it's going to be a test to see how well this holds up in the long run but for right now it's looked like it's going to hold i should also go ahead and take a moment and note that this mod mic requires a separate microphone in jack which i know a lot of mac products do not have so while it'll work fine for most standard pcs because they almost all have a mic in jack uh, you Mac users might be out of luck with this one because it's not a USB mic. It has to have a separate mic in jack. So we're going to take this, and if I'm not mistaken, the process here is fairly simple in that it's basically just going to slide right in there with its magnetic hole. Well, so here's an interesting situation. I attach it to my headsets, and I then attach the mod mic with its magnetic clasp here. It just kind of magnetizes itself in. And whenever I touched the mod mic, it instantly ripped it off. Um, this is not very sticky at all. It's not tacky whatsoever. I mean, it just kind of falls right off. So, you know, I mean, ta-da, look at that. It just, I'm not real impressed with the adhesive here, especially since this is kind of the fundamental thing that, you know, the thing is supposed to do. The fact that it doesn't really stay on doesn't really bode well. Uh, they did send a backup here. So I am going to try and see if I can't get this backup to stick. And then we'll go from there. All right, so I did seem to get a flat enough surface here, way up high close to the hinge on my set, to go ahead and get it to stick and actually support its own weight. Um, I still don't feel like it's real durable. It's definitely not something that I would throw around. Um, it seems like it might kind of come off any moment. But it is on there well enough right now. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and give this a sound test where I'm going to compare the microphone and sound quality of this mod mic versus that that came standard with the Turtle Beach P11 um, and we'll see what they ultimately sound like. Um, 
Anyways, uh, thank you so much for uh, checking out this mod mic with me here today. Uh, again, this is Andrew for Gadget Experts. And go ahead and check out the sound test below for uh, your sample and a final result. All right, this is a sound test using the um, P11 uh, Turtle Beach headset. Um, I haven't changed output levels or anything else. I want it to be a pretty much microphone-based sound test. I am going to move the mic around just a little bit to see if I can't get the best sound possible. Um, the P11 does come through a little bit low. Um, I guess that Turtle Beach kind of assumed that you could always crank the output up on it if you really wanted to. Um, but this is the Turtle Beach headset. Um, I'll let you judge the quality of my voice. I've always been pretty satisfied with it. I think it does a pretty good job. Um, I think the sound is pretty true enough. It does pick up a little bit of some pop and things, but for the whole, it seems to be all right. And um, next, I'll go ahead and try out this mod mic. All right, everyone. This is the mod mic. Um, I think that in the fairness here, um, I should point out the fact that I've got this mod mic turned up about three times as loud with my system settings. I have had to adjust the output substantially. Um, literally, I use a Realtek HD Audio Manager, and it is cranked up as far as it can go right now, and I'm still getting really, really low levels. Actually, lower than that on just the standard P11. Um, so I think that in the fairness, it's important that I point that out. Um, anyways, here's the mod mic sound check. Uh, it is indeed picking up sound, but at very, very low frequencies. So if you do go ahead and get this, you're probably going to have to get some kind of audio management software that will allow you to adjust the output um, and the playback volume because it seems to be the only way to really get it done. All right.